Here's what people are talking about. Well, it's still this speech Senator Jeff Flake gave about Trump yesterday. Yep, he criticized Trump for 20 minutes without mentioning him by name. But I think people knew who he meant when he kept referring to tweeting McTweet face. Oh. You know, <laughs> tweeting McTweet face. Trump was tweeting again today. He said that his big meeting with Republican senators was a love fest with multiple standing ovations. Yep, there were mostly people getting up to leave, but still, that counts as hey. standing ovation. They... Standing. Uh, Trump, uh, Trump sent three tweets about how the senators gave him a standing ovation. It's a big deal for Trump. He hasn't seen 50 people cheering him on since his inauguration. <laughs> and so it's very... But today, today, when he was talking to reporters, Trump said that he has one of the greatest memories of all time. Then Trump said, and if you don't believe me, ask my sons, Derek and Ron Jr. <laughs> and my daughter, girl, girl Donald. <laughs> girl Donald? That's not a name. What? Girl, girl Donald? Donald? That's not a name. <laughs> Trump also spent a few minutes talking about how he is portrayed in the media. Listen to what he said. Well, I think the press makes me more uncivil than I am. You know, people don't understand. I went to an Ivy League college. Uh, I was a nice student. I did very well. Uh, I'm a very intelligent person. I mean, no nothing says I'm smart better than shouting it on your front lawn. It's like, <laughs> I'm very smart. You kid on the bike, I'm smart. <laughs> okay. okay, we're good, we're good. Get this, I read that President Trump wanted to change the name of a mountain in Alaska, but the state senator said no. Yeah, it turns out that Trump has a lot of other famous landmarks he's offered to rename as well. I'll show you what I mean. For example, Trump offered to rename the Grand Canyon the Bigly Hole. Wow. <laughs> Next up, Trump offered to rename the Liberty Bell the Taco Bell Monument. And he's like, <laughs> Hero. And finally, Trump offered to rename the U.S. Capitol building the Huge Boob. And you go, wow. well, that's... What are you doing? What is... Really? They're not gonna work. Don't worry about it. And we all know Halloween is right around the corner, and many people still haven't picked out their costumes. So here, with a few suggestions, is our own Tonight Show Halloween correspondent, Julio Torres, ladies and gentlemen. Julio. Julio. Hi. Hi. Julio. Great crowd. Julio Torres. Hi. Hi. Hello and, uh, boo. Julio, I understand you have ideas for some last-minute Halloween costumes. Uh, yes, correct. Uh, if you're struggling to find a costume, how about something easy like, um, like the lost city of Atlantis? <laughs> that sounds like more, more of a concept. How about something like a, like a ghost? Like a ghost? Oh, or... oh sure, sure, sure. Oh, well, how about uh, a Ferrero Rocher chocolate? Or, or uh, an email forward from your dad. <laughs> or a raccoon foolishly wearing all the diamonds he stole. <laughs> or, um, <laughs> what? Or, wait, 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 wait. Or, okay, okay, how about a cashier from Chipotle catching you putting soda into the water cup and going, you lied to me. <laughs> What about costumes uh, for people that are, like more familiar with? Like, uh, how about a Dracula or Deadpool? Who? Dracula, Deadpool. You could also be a turtle who just told off another turtle and that has to turn away and storm off very slowly. It's true. Or a statue who came to life but now has a job and a family and misses the simple days of just being admired. <laughs> Julio, I, I have to say, I love these costumes. They all seem a pretty high concept. Is there something you could recommend that's a little simpler for people who aren't as creative? Well, you can always be the tooth fairy, being like, dear God, I can't afford to buy more teeth. What do I even do with these? <laughs> or, or how about St. Peter welcoming someone who was anti-immigration to heaven and being like, oh no, you forgot the forms. Now you have to wait in line. I'm sorry, rules are rules. <laughs> <laughs> Julio, what about something super simple? Yeah, I mean, I'm personally torn between being a secret or a rumor. <laughs> I meant like a, like a football player or something. What? But I'm, I'm not a football player. 
Yeah. Like, would I, would I have to like put on a, a bunch of weight? That's, that's insane. That, that's insane? Season six of One Tree Hill. No, this is like, these are not. Mm. Or, or a telegram that never arrived that would have made all the difference. <laughs> wow. <laughs> or, or wait, wait. How about a nice green tea from Starbucks that was supposed to be unsweetened, but it's sweetened, so now it's up for grabs if anyone <laughs> wants it. <laughs> anyone can take. I mean, you can always go as maybe like a flamingo that's like, you know what? I'm just gonna use both legs. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, this. I mean, those are my suggestions. Enjoy being a football player. <laughs> Thank you. Julio <laughs> Torres, everyone. It's up for grabs. Oh, my neck hurts. My neck hurts from laughing. Oh, my goodness. Good suggestions right there. Julio Torres, once again, how great is that? <laughs> oh, check this out, guys. I saw that one of Albert Einstein's notes about his theory for a happy life sold at auction for $1.5 million. $1.5 million. It got awkward when the buyer read the note and it said, money can't buy happiness. And finally, I read that there are some new airport security measures starting this week, and airlines can conduct short interviews with passengers. Most airlines will ask the purpose of your trip, while Spirit Airlines will ask if you know how to land a plane. <laughs> we have a great show tonight. Give it up for the roof. Uh, uh -huh. on and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.